Hey there everybody, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today we're going to do a field test and review on the Endure, spelled N-D-U-R. I like that spelling, pretty unique there. The Endure Survival Straw. This is a little compact guy. One of, I believe, the best bang for your buck if you're looking for small, compact survival straws to be able to purify water. This is probably going to be one of the best bets for you. It's smaller and lighter than a life straw. It can't process as much. It's about to, it's uh, rated for about 25 gallons, but uh, that's a lot of water when you really think about it to be able to handle for multiple days. And uh, it's small, lightweight enough to be able to carry just in your pocket and carry with you to third world countries, backpacking, outdoor stuff bushcraft, whatever. Uh, there's just a lot of things going for this Endure Survival Straw to give you pure clean water when you don't have either your normal filter got lost, broken, damaged, whatever, uh, you know, or you're just out there somewhere either in the third world or just out in the wilderness and you need some pure water, you don't have the ability to boil it. This is an amazing backup option for you. So let's go ahead. I'll give you some of the basic specs, show it to you in action, and we'll wrap up the video and see if the Endure Survival Straw might be a worth a purchase. All right, guys, let's you. go ahead and take a look here at the specs on the Endure Survival Straw. And I've used this now for several different backpacking and hiking trips, testing it out in all sorts of different mountain streams up in the Rockies and haven't had any sort of you know issues at all. It's definitely been a really good water purifier for me. The great thing about it is it's very lightweight at under two ounces. It is six and a half inches long and an inch wide. So very small, compact, easy to fit in a lot of different pocket organizers, survival kits, different things like that. And it's not going to take up a lot of space and definitely smaller than say like a life straw. Now the downside is it only does 25 gallons, but in comparison to, you know, like the life straw, I know it does a lot more water for you, but 25 gallons, if you do the math, that's a, a gallon a day for 25 days, basically almost a month. And, uh, you know, you can survive on a lot less water if you had to. So that can definitely keep you going. And if you, if you are still having a problem finding clean water and haven't either been rescued or, you know, taken care of after a month, you got, I think you got bigger problems than trying to find, um, you know, pure water. You, you got a bigger problem there. So I think it is absolutely adequate for any sort of survival situation that you might be stuck in, except for an apocalypse, basically. Then if you're really nervous about apocalypse, don't buy the Endure, buy something else. But uh, for everything else, I think this works great. What it does is it removes 99.49.999 of viruses and bacteria, so that's always a good thing, and then removes 99.99, so two nines, 99.99 of heavy metals like mercury, copper, and other things like that, and it also removes microorganisms such as E. coli, Giardia, and other things like that. So it's definitely, you know, got things going for it, and will definitely do anything that, you know, the, uh, I believe it's the FDA, would require, or the EPA, excuse me, uh, requires for um, laboratory testing of being a really good high quality purifier that they put their stamp of approval on. So, uh, and that's what I believe I am reading here. Using the advanced technologies, um, the filter has been used in EPA, ANSI protocols and uh, NSF laboratories with Endures filtration system. You'll have an instant access to safe drinking water anywhere in the world is what they brag here on the packaging. So real quick how you use this and uh, you know be rolling in footage as we're talking here of us using these things is uh, all you have to do is pop the top here. It's got a little rubber sealant that's the cap to just kind of keep it you know from getting dirty if you were to drop it by accident or something like that. Pops it back into place. Now on the other side all you have to do is unscrew this thing like that and then shove it in the water and begin to drink. And guys, like I said, it's very, very uh, enjoyable. I've used it multiple times now on some backpacking trips and it's done great. Haven't had any sort of complaints. Very easy to pull through. Just as easy as, you know, a drinking water out of a camelback bladder or something like that, water bladder. Very easy to pull the water through. It's not, you know, you don't have to really, you know, heave and try and, you know, sip the water through the straw. It's very easy to do that. The downside is obviously you have to kind of get down low into the water, find a place for that, or use your cup or a water bottle if you had to scoop up the water and then stick it in there just like a normal straw and drink it out that way versus, say, pumps where you can, or, you know, filters where you could, like a Sawyer where you could easily, you know, squirt it into a different water bottle. That's the only downside to a survival straw, but again, this is going to be lightweight, small, compact, and you can carry with you everywhere, and you never have to worry and wonder, uh oh 
oh crap, I'm in a bad situation and I don't have a way to get pure water and then you're risk getting Giardia or something like that or some sort of heavy metal poisoning and when you're out there in either the wilderness or in, you know, like a flood situation around your home or, you know, fires, whatever. An emergency situation of any kind, a bug out bag type of situation, the Endure Survival Straw, I think would be a fantastic purchase. It's a good price point, right around the $22 to $25 mark, Amazon, eBay, those type of places. And uh, very, very good quality for a small, if you're building small, compact survival kits or bug out bags, the Endure Survival Straw, I think would be highly recommended. And I would recommend it to you because I've used it multiple times without any sort of problems. And I see that's a pretty good quality product with no complaints whatsoever. So guys, I would recommend if you're looking for a small, lightweight survival straw, the Endure Survival Straw should be at the top of your list. Thanks so much for watching. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching this particular episode of Gideon's Tactical. Please subscribe, comment, like, the videos, share the videos, and check out our Facebook page. You can find it on the YouTube homepage of Gideon's Tactical. Like our Facebook page where you'll get updates of upcoming videos. Uh, you'll get photos as well as upcoming gear, new gear releases, you know, that products and companies that uh, are released, as well as behind the scenes footage and bloopers that you'll never see make it to YouTube. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.